You know how life as an adult can get kind of boring and mundane? And as I'm home for the holidays, it kind of got me thinking. I miss being a kid. But deeper than that, because I want to show you how you can become successful in your own life by becoming a kid again. Okay, that sounded weird. <laughs> Let me explain. If we had the privilege of it, the innocence we have as a young kid makes the world seem incredible. The younger we are, the more awe and imagination we have. You can hop around your living room singing Wizard of Oz songs, unwrap presents under the tree, and think that a toy truck is the greatest gift to mankind. Your imagination runs wild. You wait for a Santa on Christmas Eve, reenact a scene from Harry Potter using a tree branch as your wand, actually want to go out in the snow, play with toys and give them personality, and ultimately just live. Kids are masters of being mindful because there really isn't tomorrow to worry about. So what exactly happens to us when we get older? These are questions I had to ask myself once I entered what we refer to as the real world. Why was I so unhappy? Why did I lose my zest for life and forget about everything I once loved? As a kid, I had the craziest imagination. I would write my own stories and novels in elementary school, middle school, and even later. I'd write horror novels, teen dramas, coming-of-age stories, and yet, I never shared them with anyone. They were simply for my own enjoyment. As a preteen, I evolved my writing into creating videos. I'd make silly videos with my friends, edit them myself, and then we'd laugh until we were on the floor of how ridiculous we were. My creativity and imagination was what kept me excited. It was what kept me living and happy. And then, just like a coming-of-age film, we're forced to grow up. Being a high schooler faded my imagination, and instead became a life of competition of social media, of popularity, and of not knowing who the hell we are. I stopped making videos, and I never felt more alone than being in high school. And that feeling of unbelonging that many of us deal with during that time in our life makes us grow up in all the wrong ways. You may hear the word imagination and associate it with unicorns and making toys talk. We tend to lose our imagination as we grow older for two main reasons. One, we become more rational. And two, we fear what people think. We fear rejection, embarrassment, and failure. All things we probably pick up around high school. And then once we get to the real world, we elaborate on it more as a survival instinct and replace imagination with knowledge. One of my favorite things I love to think about is that all of this was created for you. When I was 27, I moved across the country to find something more. And then that more started happening. I spent a lot of time in nature. I picked up a camera again, filmed my new adventures in my new home, and started sharing them to the world. I started writing again, scripting out videos on what I've been observing living in California and new places I wanted to go and see, and how I can create stories out of those adventures. And that's when everything started to feel purposeful and exciting again, because my imagination started taking over my mind in all the best ways. I felt like a kid again. This is what life is all about. Just get out and enjoy it. I'm in a really good mood today. Here are ways we can all practice this in our everyday lives. Deny the false thought that you're not creative. We were born to create. What that means for you is different for everyone. Replace your thinking of not being creative or imaginative with positive affirmations. Remind yourself that your inner soul holds the key to your creativity, success, and happiness, and that this world was made for you. Create stories when you're out in public and in mundane settings. Sometimes I'm in what seems like the worst traffic jam in the world, unable to understand how this many people around me even exist or where they're going. But instead of that agitated thought, why not create stories to yourself of where the car next to you is headed? Observe everything and everyone around you, trying not to let yourself get caught up in the adult trap of autopilot. 
Get out in nature for at least 10 minutes a day and try to do it alone. In a safe place, of course. Observe the leaves on the trees, the bugs crawling below you, the temperature of the air, the color of the sky. Flex this muscle to start developing a wonder for the world. Remind yourself again that this was all created for you. Watch the sunset as much as you can. A sunset is one of the most beautiful things we can experience every day, and most of us don't even bother. We'd rather scroll mindlessly on TikTok than observe one of nature's greatest gifts to the world. This mindfulness serves as a reset where you can feel empowered to accomplish anything. Access your childhood memories. Remind yourself of those times you missed the most, when you were most mindful, playing with toys, reading books, and spending time smiling. Realize that while life has changed and you grew up physically, that you back then is still you today. You just chose to leave them behind. Decide where to channel your energies. For me, I wanted to bring back my childhood hobby of creating and making videos. I visualized myself as a YouTuber like the ones I would watch. What you think, you become. Because your imagination finds a way to build that success for you. And finally, take time to explore your passions. What were your favorite hobbies as a child that you lost? How can you bring them back? Sometimes we simply outgrow hobbies and that's okay, but how can you build on them? I evolved from making stories with toy trucks to making stories with friends to making stories with myself in California. Whatever you enjoy consuming as an adult might be a sign that you should create. There is so much we can learn about childhood. Explore what made you once happy. What made you imaginative? What made you sleepless with excitement like a kid on Christmas Eve? Because that hobby you gave up, that dream career you once said you would have but never pursued, those books you used to read that made your imagination run wild, maybe, just maybe, that's exactly who you need to be again. Because, after all, happiness is neither a privilege or a right. It's a choice. And only you can try to rebuild and make it right. The universe created you to create. Because again, this was all made for you.